one of the questions I hear often is how do I create realistic looking renders? And inside of 3JS, we're going to use the mesh standard material and the mesh physical material to get realistic reflections, realistic refractions, as well as uh, metal materials and chrome and lenses and glass and environment lighting. So let's do this. I'd like to thank Exponent for making me a brand ambassador for them. And you can enjoy a 20% discount if you click the link in the description below to try their service. Cheers. Basic template. I'm going to remove the background so that we can load our own. Don't need this anymore. Save that. We'll just have our cube floating in space. Let's import the Ultra HDR loader. Let's instantiate that guy. Const HDR loader is equal to a new Ultra HDR loader. It wants me to set the data type. I think I'm just going to use the defaults. HDR loader dot load. And that's fine. All right. I like to call this HDR too. In the project files, there are a couple of high dynamic range images from the 3JS examples. So let's load one of those. This is not one of them. Here it's ENVs slash, hang on, send Giuseppe Bridge 2K.jpg. By the way, the Ultra HDR loader is available in 3JS version 165 or 66 on. If you're using an older version, this is not in there, the recent one. I think it's it's been in there for at least six months or so. All right. No, after I load my image, I want to tell it the image format. Let's just load it and see like scene dot environment equals HDR. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Is there an error? There's no error. Uh, oh, I know scene dot background. That's what I meant to do. Boom. There's our image in the background and it's looking kind of squashed. Yeah, so that's not ideal. So let's see if we can make this look better. HDR dot, is it mapping? I think it is. Oh yeah. So now I can pan around the scene instead of it just being compressed in there. Isn't that nice? I want to remove the extra lighting in the scene, that hemisphere light, so that we're just dealing with lighting from this HDR image. Right now, we're not getting anything. But if we say, hey, scene dot environment is equal to the HDR. That is telling 3JS, hey, use that image we loaded for the lighting information for this model. And it kind of looks like it's this could be in the scene, doesn't it? Let's change this box to, should I do a teapot? Import teapot geometry from the examples. And then let's use that teapot geometry here. And the defaults don't work because it's a scale to 100. So let's make it one. That's perfect. Side is three dot double side. That way, if you look in the, the spout, I'm, I'm pointing at the screen right there. There's a little, there's a rendering error, you know, you can kind of see through the teapot. So if we make it double sided instead, now I can't see through the spout. Great. A couple of cool things we can do. I'm using a mesh standard material, which is one of 3JS's physically based rendering materials. You cannot do this with a Fong material or Lambert material. So with the standard material, I can say um, gloss, right? No, no, no. Roughness is zero. And see what that looks like. Oh. And do you see those nice reflections on the teapot? Isn't that nice? Oh my God. I'm going to increase the detail on the teapot by passing in another param. And that's going to remove some of the chunkiness. Oh my goodness. Okay. In addition to roughness, I can say metalness and if i crank for it the default is zero but if i say hey make it five oh shoot i need a comma 
Make it five. Oh, look at that. I think I might be wrong. Leave a comment if you if you know for sure. But I think the metalness kind of reduces the diffuse color. Uh, it uh, moves the diffuse color closer to black, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's test that theory out. Let's make this 2222 zero, 00. So it's the same color yellow, but just with reduced brightness. Uh, not really. Anyway, metalness is on. Let's crank the metal menace. <laughs> Let's crank the metalness up to maximum. Putting the color back to where it was and see what we get. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful teapot. Another thing we can try out with these physically based rendering materials is reflections and refractions. Let's change to a mesh physical material. All right, and out of the box, it should look the same. Um, I'm gonna leave the color as it is, but the roughness, I'm, I'm getting rid of I'm getting rid of metalness, and say transmission is 1.0, and I think that's going to make it transparent, maybe. Okay, that's really cool. Um, I can also give it a thick. It's got a thickness qu uh, quality, and that will. Hang on, I'm gonna turn off the color, so we just have. Oh boy, I give it a half half brown. Thickness is zero. There, now it's like a clear glass thing. Oh, it looks so good. Make it frosted glass. This was supposed to be about environment maps and now it's about materials, but it's so cool. Let's make the thickness one and it should have a refractive quality. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness. I don't like the way the teapot is rotating um, on the x-axis, so let's just make it on the y-axis only. Or we could tell the x to be math.sign um, t times, and then give it some small value like 0 0.2, and it will pass t with a default value here. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's way too much. And reduce T some more. Like 50 times smaller. So it's just a little bit of wobble on the x-axis. That's way too much. I'll crank this up. Speed up. But the, the amplitude is lower. Anyway. So nice, right? What if I turn up the metalness on this guy while it's transparent? Um, let's see what happens. Oh, it just becomes chrome. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, let's load up a different environment map real quick. Instead of a daytime scene, let's try a kind of nighttime-y scene. Whoa. Isn't that lovely? Play with this yourself. Uh, go get the latest version of 3JS or a recent version. Instantiate this HDR loader. Load one of the images that you find in the examples or in, this, in the project files. Set the background, set the environment, and there you have it. Isn't that nice? Try out some different models like uh, three dot torus knot geometry. Love the torus knot geometry. And what are some defaults, good defaults for that? That sounds good. See how that looks. Crank up the detail, make it so luscious and smooth. Turn off metalists, make it refracting. Give it a weird color too. I think I think a off blue color would be nicer. 
there you have it. Thanks so much for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.